show. It's time for Magic Phil's special guest. It's time now for my star guest, the one and only Iman Bersha. Hello. Hi. Welcome to the Magic Phil podcast. You know, I... It's so great whenever you come here into the studio. And I was getting so excited thinking of all kinds of different types of opera songs that's given me a great idea for a fun game later. Okay. So I'm going to sing vegetables and different kinds of fruits. Um, I like vegetables and fruits. To a tune of a song that I know that you've sang. All right. And all you've got to do is just tell me the, the original name of that song. Okay. I know, see, it sounds see silly. What, see what I can do. And it sounds super see, silly. Pick it up. But perfect for this show. Super silly. Okay, can you tell everybody a little bit about yourself? Give me three fun facts about Iman Bersha. Hi, I'm Iman Bersha. I'm an opera singer. I play ukulele. And um, I'm homeschooled. Wow, now you say you uh, play the ukulele. Yes. Now, I've been, I've been practicing the ukulele. I'm not very good. I have been practicing Frosty the Snowman. Could you give me a little song? Sure, I'll see you. Oh, here we go. It might be out of tune, or it might be me that's out of tune. I'm not too okay. sure. It's a little out of tune. It's okay. <laughs> right now I'm working on Ave Maria, but it's kind of it's like... <clears throat> and I can't really sing to it because I just started working on it. But what should I play? Try it. Come on, let's do it. Because I can't sing to it. It's all right. No, that's fine. Just play it. Anything's better than my Frosty the Snowman. I see a duo here, definitely. Beautiful. And just a note there, guys, the, the ukulele is out of tune. But that sounds that sounds perfect. Wow. I'll just play till there because it's a <laughs> How long have you been playing the ukulele? Not even a year at this point. Not even a year. Not even a year. I've had it four months and I can't even play Frosty the Snowman. I'll, te I'll teach you later. All right, brilliant. There we go. We're gonna, have, we're gonna learn Frosty the Snowman live on the show a little bit later. Now, can you tell me when did you first discover that you could sing? Let's see. When I was really, really little, I was like, I told the story like a billion times. Let's see, see if I can get it right. This time. <laughs> um, when I was little. I used to always sing, like, as a little kid, like, you know, picking up whatever I hear on the radio or what my parents listen to or whatever. I started singing, you know, learned, like, verses of some stuff with my mom off YouTube and stuff. And then when I was, like, around the age of seven, six, seven, uh, we discovered opera. And that's when we discovered I could sing opera, like, sing. And then that wasn't exactly singing, I could say. Just making noise, like oh, 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 oh. yeah. Cause I was I was singing, but it was like not proper singing, I would say. So, so I started like properly singing after, I think after I finished Arabs Got Talent, and then we started like more lessons, and that's when I really learned to sing. I would say. Now, just whilst you've touched on Arabs Got Talent, while while you've mentioned it, your audition for that. Now you obviously live here in Dubai. Where did they film Arabs Got Talent? They filmed it in Lebanon. Wow. I, remember, I remember that clearly. We uh, All the contestants stayed in the same hotel. We had so much fun towards the end of it. And uh, it was in Lebanon. I don't exactly remember where in Lebanon, though. And you did great. You won it. You <laughs> yeah. won Arabs Got Talent. What year was that? That was like 2000... I don't exactly know. 17. 2017. 2017. And the moment you won Arabs Got Talent, how did that make you feel? I was surprised because there was two Imans and they were like, Iman, I was like, oh, waiting, 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 waiting. And then I look over to the other Iman, she looks over to me and they're like, Bisha, I'm like, woohoo. And I remember wow. holding, uh, holding one of the contestants' hands because we were friends and um, I don't know, it was a very surprising moment. And can you remember leading up to the audition, were you nervous, um, the audition process, how did it work? Uh, it was like, it was very hectic, I would say. Um, I loved my dress, though. That that was an awesome dress. It was like my you first... You lost your dress? No, I loved my dress. Oh, you loved your dress. I thought you said you lost... <laughs> I loved my dress there because it was like... it was. The only, I think it was like the only dress that I got to pick. 
Do you still have it? Do I? Yeah, it's packed away. It's a very special dress. We keep all of my dresses. Brilliant. Well, of course. It's, uh, except for a few of them. Except for a few of them that we didn't get to keep. We might see them hung up in Hard Rock Cafe one day. <laughs> what do you that would be cool, wouldn't it? That would be really cool. That would be super cool. Yeah, yeah. and I remember, um, you know, the first few rounds, they were, like, hectic, you know. Nothing was too, like, scary. I mean, it was, like, sing, you don't go through, you do go through, whatever happens, happens. But towards the end, I think it became a little bit more like nerve-wracking and everybody was like working, working, working. And then I had uh, the final season, or the final um, season, my best friend came, and uh, her name's Matilda. She doesn't, she doesn't live near us anymore, but she came from Dubai, from Dubai and she came all the way to Lebanon, and uh, I remember sitting back, backstage in a blow-up bed because I got, like, no sleep the night before. Blow-up bed? Wow. Yeah, like, blow-up bed. And I, I was coloring. I was, like, um, like I was like designing a little dress or something. And uh, you were little. I was really little. And the funny story was, me and my friend, we look very similar. I mean, same hair, you know, freckles. I used to have more. Blue eyes. <laughs> okay? And uh, we dressed pretty similar. So... That day, we were not allowed to go into the, um, like, the crowd or, like, where the seats were. All right, okay. And, like, it was towards, like, when people were starting to, like, come inside. So my friend, she, uh, she came backstage. She leaves backstage. She goes up to her seats. The staff are like, Iman, why are you in your seat? <laughs> She's like, I'm not Iman. They're like... And then, like, they came. Like, they brought her down. They came. They found me. They're like... And we were like... What do you mean? And it was it was really funny because then she had to walk all the way back up to her seats and then the, the rest of the night they thought there was like any man sitting in there. Well, if you ever need a lookalike, yeah. you know who to call. Can you tell me what was your favorite, what has been your favorite, <laughs> favorite stage that you've ever performed on or your favorite gig of all time? I think I have like three favorites. Go for it. I'll let you have three. Okay. Cirque du Soleil, the um, scene where I was like the fairy and I had the really cool like... Like stage I saw setup. That on your Instagram, I think it was yeah. my, that was my first one that I actually got to like move around on stage. And I think uh, I think the fairy, the um, let me see. That's been so which many. One, which one of the America's Got Talent ones? I think it was the last one that had the rose petals. Was the, or, the, or the third? I'm trying to think. The America's Got Talent performance where I had the rose petals fall. That one I loved. I loved that performance. It was an awesome stage and. I think uh, my favorite one was like the top, top, top one was the Andre one because I had like the live orchestra and like the crowds and there was balloons. It was, it was an awesome performance. And that was actually the last performance I did before, um, you know, before this year, before this yes. year in COVID. <laughs> and that, that was um, an unforgettable, unforgettable performance. It and of was, course, you can see the it pictures. Was, it was so special. So special. You've got pictures and stuff all on your Instagram. What's your Instagram page? It's Iman Bisha. Just Iman Bisha. E M A N N E B E A S H A. La la Pretty la simple. la. You could sing that. Can you sing it for me? Sing your name. Let's go. Let's have a practice. I'll try it. <laughs> Magic Phil. But should I do it as in my operatic voice? Here we go. My M A G I C P H I L. <laughs> there we go. Don't call me. <laughs> <laughs> um. Now I go? Yeah, you'll go. Go on. Okay, let me go. Okay. This is when she shows me up. First. Wow! Wow! That is that is no. That's that is not good for me. That's really. I, I, I never, need some lessons. I never, I never sang my uh, name. Well, you have now. I've I have never. Now. I've never sang fruits and vegetables before, but I'm about to. Are you ready now to play my fruit and vegetable game? Yes, I am. Okay, so I'm excited. famous songs. Okay, famous songs. Mm-hmm. That I know that you have sung as well, but I'm going to sing them as fruit and vegetables. At the end, so I'm just going to sing one line. You've just got to tell me what song you think. <laughs> It. This is bonkers, I know, but you've got to tell me what song you think it is. Okay, okay. All right, here we go. <clears throat> yellow apple, yellow apple, no orange and pears and grapes too, bananas and melons and berries so blue, so blue, so blue. 
beautiful. What's the song? Listen, Dorma. Yes. Yeah, I heard that. I was like, <laughs> well <done. laughs> all right, I've like, got, I've got two it. more. All right, here we go. One this for is, me. All right, are you ready? Mm-hmm. This next one. <laughs> Broccoli, pears and plums. Peppers and cucumbers, apples and peaches and pineapples. Da, da, da. Conte partiro. I have no idea what you just said. Time to say goodbye. Yeah, conte partiro. Right. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Get the title, Phil. Come on. All right. This last one. Yes. Let's see if you can guess this one. This one's a little one. bit. It is. Okay. <clears throat> I eat potatoes and onions, sometimes garlic and sometimes ginger. I eat celery, carrots and green beans. That's all I've got. I know the song. Uh, oh, mum knows. No, da, 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 blah, blah, blah. I know the song. I know exactly the song. It actually rhymes with beans. So I... Eat green beans. I something. I don't know what it's called. I dreamed a dream. I, that's it. I dreamed a dream. I yeah. dreamed a dream. Okay. There we go. I knew the song. I just didn't know the name. Why don't you give me one? Although I'm rubbish with opera songs. Let's see if we can pick a song and sing it as fruits and vegetables. Ooh, what do you think? Go for it. My mom's giving me the single. She's, she's like. With her eyebrows. Like, go for it, go for it. <laughs> Here we go. Apples, bananas, and peaches. Lettuce, grapes, and pineapples. Wow. I couldn't sing because it. I couldn't sing because I was like, in my mind, I was like, what fruits and vegetables do I know? That's why I had to write it down. I had to make sure I wrote it down because it was tricky to do it without the fruits. Have you, you've never been asked to sing fruits and veggies before, have you? No, I have not. That's, that's, this is a new experiment. At least, at least you'll remember me. That's good. At least you'll remember (laughs) me. Now let's talk about um, America's Got Talent. You got the golden buzzer for that. What made you go for America's Got Talent? Well. Making your way around the world? Well, I'm like American. My mom's American. And when I was younger, I auditioned. I didn't make it. You know, went back. I mean, went back home. It was just an audition in Florida. So I, I lived there. So it was, you know, not too far away. And um, a few years later, I'm in Dubai. And, uh, you know, what's some called? I'm in Dubai. And then uh, what happened was, I don't, we didn't, did we audition? No, we didn't audition. They ended up somehow we got in. Con- they saw they saw us on Little Big Shots, like my oh, mom wow. just said. Brilliant. And they got in t- contact with us. They're like, we want you. <laughs> Not exactly. I don't exactly know because I didn't really do any of the stuff like the communications. It was mostly my parents and uh, your momager. There yeah, we go. The momager over there, and yeah. of course you got the golden buzzer uh, by one of the guest judges yes, there on and- the quarter. Or the, what was it, quarterfinal? Judge cuts. Judge cuts. Judge cuts. Wow. That, was, that, I remember that moment. I remember walking onto stage. I remember seeing Terry Crews before I went on stage. And um, I remember seeing my friend Benicio. We go on stage. And uh, I'm out there. I see, I, see, I see Jay Leno. I sing. They spoke. I'm like, okay, about to go off stage. And then, Boing. boom. Yeah. <sighs> wow. I, my, my heart stopped. It was... Did your mum cry? I said, unforgettable. I don't remember. Did you cry? Oh, yeah, of course she did. She was there uh, crying in the wings. Going, oh, my little girl. Of course you were. Okay, two more questions. All right. Your mm-hmm. favourite celebrity that you've met. Mm-hmm. Oh, your favourite celebrity that you've met. Who's it going to be? It can't be me. Andre Ryu. <laughs> he was really cool. Yeah, why was he cool? Because he knew so much about music, and uh, one of the first people I met that like really knew about like classical music and opera, and it was uh, it was amazing. It was amazing to work with him. He was like a mastermind, like orchestrating everything, and he uh, he really helped me improve Omo Babino and stuff. He, Brilliant. He was amazing. Probably, yeah, he was my favorite, hands down. 
Now we're going to play another little game um, where you only have to answer one. Okay, we're going to just to get to know you a little bit more. All right, and you're only allowed to answer one. Okay, and mm -hmm. it's got to be as fast as you can. Okay, fruit or veg? Fruit. Ice cream or candy floss? Ice cream. Of course. Uh, cinema or theatre? Same thing. All right. Um, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. A beach or swimming pool? Beach. Or dancing or singing? Ooh. Ooh. Singing. Oh, wow, you surprised me there that you had to think about that one. What made you think so much? Well, I thought you would have went for singing straight away. Well, the thing is, I um, I sing a lot and I dance a lot by myself in my room. I'll play some music. I'll be like. Like a robot, yeah. you know, party by myself. So I was confused. I'm like, dancing or singing? Okay. So, you know. Christmas or Halloween? Ooh. It's a tricky one. That's tricky. I mean, we just had Halloween, like, yesterday. Mm -hmm. But Christmas, you get presents. You know what? I'm going to say Halloween. Okay, Halloween. you can express yourself in a costume. Okay, one more. Aeroplane or boat? Airplane. Aeroplane, definitely airplanes. an aeroplane. All right, before we go, can you wrap up and just um, give some words of inspiration to anyone out there that might want to become a singer or a, or a dancer and are just unsure about taking that step or taking that audition? What would you like to say to everybody? Let's see. Unprepared, but okay. <laughs> um... I would say if you are going to take that step and you're like, you got to think about it, be sure. Because when you take it, you never know, like, you never know where you're going to go. I mean, when I started Arabs Got Talent, I just auditioned. It was like, whatever, whatever. I mean, and then all this happened and it, it totally changed my life. It's taken you around the world. It has, it has. You've been absolutely... I've had so much fun with this. Everywhere, just, you've been on you know, so many shows... And, uh, you know, it just just go for it if you really want it. And if you really want it, just go get it. Do you get stopped in the street by people, especially when it's, when it's big on TV and in, in your, when you're in that country where it's been aired? Like when Arabs Got Talent or America's Got Talent was out, were people stopping you for photos? And In America, yes. And during Arabs Got Talent, yes, Jordan, like this. But mostly in America, like, especially at Walmart. There's something about Walmart, you know? <laughs> There's just something about Walmart. I'll be like, I'll be shopping, and I'll be have like, I'll look really messy, okay? And people will be like, are you her? I'll be like, how? Yeah. How? I don't look anything <laughs> like I look like on stage. And, uh, yeah, sometimes, sometimes. Well, that's brilliant, and it's great that you uh, get to stop with the fans and get the get your pictures and all that kind of stuff as well. Iman Bisha, absolute <laughs> superstar. Check her out Thank on you. her Instagram page as well. Thank you. Thanks for being my second guest Ooh. on my podcast. Brand new, the well, magic. Thank you for Phil having show. me. I you're, always have so much fun here. Oh well, you're very welcome. Although you still didn't bring me any ice cream. That was the deal. Next time you come here, you bring me ice cream. Uh, Did you forget? I think last time I didn't get a note it. Oh, okay. Well, we're gonna note this time. We're gonna write it down this time. We're gonna put yeah. it on a post-it note. Get and a I'm, pin? I'm gonna make you sign it and your mummager. All right, it's an official contract now. Next time you come here, that's it. Ice cream. Is Dad still making ice cream? Yes, still an ice he, cream, man? he is. He is. Um, you yeah, know, he's he, every day he's improving with his uh, flavors. All so right. he is still. And your favorite cream. flavor? I've had so many. I don't exactly know, but I think it would be yogurt pomegranate or cherry cheesecake. Oh, right. On that note, I'm going to go now and make some ice cream or buy <laughs> some anyway. I can't make some. Or I'm just going to go to Eman's house and uh, get some off your dad. Does he make it at home? No, at the factory. The big, big factory. Oh, ice With cream. With all factory. the machines. So he is like Willy Wonka of the ice cream world. Yeah, I would say. I mean. Yeah? Uh, I mean, but you can't really get to go in the freezers because you just get too cold. Yeah, well, frozen Willy Wonka. Keep it, keep it here at the Magic Phil Show. We've got your tongue twisters coming your way next. Iman Bisha, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye. You're listening to the Magic.